Hello guys, it's me again and welcome to another tech video. This week I'm going to be talking about how you can build your own file server slash NAS for less than $100. Obviously this video is not for businesses because for a real business you'll probably need to spend quite a bit more money. However, if you want to build a NAS for a few users, this is for you. So the first step is to hit up eBay, Craigslist, or like what I did, ask some friends and look for an old, used, or refurbished PC. Look at your options and look at reviews for the CPU. You'll also want the motherboard to have plenty of US SATA 3 ports and uh, the more optical disk bays and hard drive bays in the PC case, the better. Intel i3 processors are usually plenty powerful enough for a NAS. And, um, you'll want to make sure the PC has gigabit internet and also a good rule of thumb is to have one gigabyte of RAM for each terabyte of storage although I haven't been quite following this rule myself. In my case I bought an old PC from a friend for $50. It has a AMD Athlon X2 4450E and a 300 watt power supply, three gigabytes of RAM and the motherboard has plenty of SATA 3 ports. The PC uh, I got only has one optical drive bay, but it has two uh, disk bays where you can install hot swap hard drive bays like this one. If you want to expand the storage, you can just add more drives. I recommend Western Digital Reds because they are actually made for NASes. Now from here, all you need to do is install an operating system. I installed Rockstore and then you're done. Uh, make sure to look out for next week's video, which will be all about the reasons to get a NAS, the software side of a NAS, and getting gigabit speeds. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe. So I see you next time on Damn Random Videos.